I know I said I'd talk about the default comparator in this video, but it hits me. We need to talk about sorting first, and I want to talk about sorting later in this playlist, so we'll come back to that. Let's look at remove all here. For list, remove all method simply takes a predicate, and I was never very good at English, and so I went to Wikipedia, and I looked up predicate, and I even got more lost, and blah, 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 blah. Predicate, think of predicate as just an if, right? If something's true, then, yeah, I'll, I'll remove it based on that predicate here, so... Watch, I'm going to say my party ages dot remove all. And let's let's get rid of all the senior people that are coming to our party. we got all the somewhat younger people, and let's say we're going to be biased and we want to remove the senior people. Maybe we're going on a river rafting trip, but we don't want to lose them in the water. Who knows? And I can just hear my grandpa yelling at me now saying, oh, I'm good enough for a river rafting trip, which is probably true. But anyway, my party ages remove all. It takes a predicate. And a predicate is a delegate. That means I can pass a method here, which may be kind of new and interesting to you. If you want, go look at my delegates playlist. I talk about passing methods. And in the link playlist, I talk about passing methods. And we do that constantly in link. We use delegates for that. But essentially, I have to pass a predicate, which is a glorified if. All right, let me, let me see if I can show you. I'm going to pass a lambda expression here. I also have videos on... Lambda expressions, I'm going to say, let's remove all i, i will be the argument to my method. I want to remove all i where i is greater than, let's say if you're over 65 years old, you should avoid this wild river rafting trip. And so what uh, remove all will do is run through each one of these items one at a time, pass them into this method a lambda expression is a method so 35 will come in for i and 35 greater than 65 that's false so 35 will not be removed 39 greater than 65 no well that's false so 39 will not be removed so on and so forth we get to 88 88 will come in for i 88 greater than 65 that is true so the 88 will be removed let's for each Int i in my party ages, console right line i, control f5, and you can see all the senior people are now gone from our party. Even though I cover this concept in my lambda expression video, I want to just cover it again because it might be new here. I'm going to actually put a breakpoint. I'm going to click and put my cursor right here, f9, and I get a breakpoint right here on i greater than 65. Now I can hit f5, and we'll actually see my party ages step through each item one at a time. The first one, I hover over I, I is 35. See 35, 35 is the first element on our list. So 35 greater than 65, no, so that's not removed. 39 greater than 65, 42 greater than 65, 88 greater than 65, you can just see that I uh, becomes each one of these items all the way through. Even a little further, I do this in my lambda expression videos as well. The C sharp compiler is essentially converts a lambda expression to a regular method. So let's do exactly what the C sharp compiler will do. I will cut this control X. I will paste it right here. I will say static bool. I know it returns a boolean because this expression here is a boolean expression. The name of the method doesn't really matter. The data type of I is int. The compiler infers that from what is being stored here inside of the list. So we'll say int i parenthesis this smiley face or rocket or whatever you want to call just denotes the difference between the parameters and the method body and so we'll replace this with our normal curly curly semicolon and the compiler inserts a return here as well. So hopefully you can see how that lambda expression becomes a method and then the compiler will put the method name right here, paste the method name in there. Control F5, you can see that all the senior people were removed. Again, I cover all this in my Lambda Expression videos. I strongly suggest you watch that if you don't understand your Lambda Expressions, but that's essentially the gist. And again, I can put a breakpoint here, hit F5, and you can see remove all passes. Each item, 35, 39, come on, 42, so on and so forth to each one. Let's write our own remove all method and ours will be extremely clunky. I'm not going to do any optimizations or anything like that. I just want to make sure this these concepts hopefully make sense to you. Let's put it right here. Public void remove all. It takes a predicate which is 
just a delegate. That's all it is. I can F12 on predicate, and you can see it's a delegate. It takes one item in, and, uh, and then it returns a Boolean, and it's up to us to define what that means down here. We take an item in here, and then we return a Boolean indicating... Uh, what our conditions are in this case is I greater than 65. So predicate of T, I'll call it gauntlet. I don't think that's what they actually call it inside of the actual list. But if you can run the gauntlet, then I won't remove you. And and I'll just clunk this around with a for loop. For int I, I less than, num less than the number of items inside of us. I plus plus if gauntlet items sub i we we call the gauntlet method the gauntlet determines true or false doesn't really matter to us but if we get a true back which which what that's what this if is checking if we get a true back then we know we need to remove that ith item so i'll just say remove at i remove the ith item then here's kind of the clunkiness i'm going to decrement i here because i know i is going to increment when i remove an item from the list. I don't want to skip over the next item. That next item will move back into I's location. So I'm just doing this I minus minus so that we test that next item. Let me actually draw that out for you. Uh, don't blink. Okay, I have our sequence here and we know that 88 will be the first item to be removed because down here we determined that 88 is greater than 65 and when we pass 88 here into the gauntlet then we'll say remove at i. Well, when we remove the 88, I'll put the i right here. When we remove the 88, then everything to the right of it will shuffle in. So the 42 will take 88's place right here. This 42 right here, not this 42. This 42 over here takes 88's place. And then the 99 will take the 42's place. And then as far as we're concerned, regarding the count, the number of items on our list, this 99 disappears. We know that that memory location will still remain, but I'll just erase that anyway. Well, if I just let I go, I++, plus plus, then I will skip over that 42 that shuffled in. I will go out here. So I cheat and I say, we'll move I down here. And then, then when I steps forward, the I++, plus plus, then I will be back on the next item. So that's why I did that kind of clunky thing there but anyway let's control f5 this be sure we get the exact same result which we do we have everyone who's less than 65 i'll actually step through this just so you can see f10 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 f11 and of course we're not using our implementation we're using the built-in one still so let me change that to me change that to me f10 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 and of course, it's running on forever. There's obviously a bug in my logic. I just think I would have rehearsed this before I started recording the video. Well, let me give me a second. Let me figure it out. Oh, stupid me! We only want to do the I minus minus if we do the remove. Look, ah, I can hear Steve Halliday yelling at me now. You should always have curly braces on everything, even one line if statements. And uh, that's where Steve Halliday and I go back and forth. Here, I'll just take these out because I feel like it, and the semantics will be the same. <laughs> Ah, curly braces, such a lame thing to fight over. Okay, F10, 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 F11. I'll step into the my remove all. Let's go through each item. Gauntlet, if gauntlet, gauntlet is determined out here by the client of me list. That's really cool. The logic for removing all the items remains the same, but you can change what that condition is dynamically down here out in the client code. That's kind of cool because list, the built-in list, I think was written about 10 years ago, a decade ago, and yet I can change what condition they're removing items on today because of the elegance in this design pattern where I can just pass a function in. And I can hear this grumpy old man I used to work with a long time ago. He'd always say, old code should be able to call new code without changing the old code. And this is a classic example of that. We we just had old code written 10 years ago calling our new code. The old code being in lists.removeAll calling our new code, which was simply this condition determining which items would be removed and why. Anyway, I'm going to hit F11 on the gauntlet. The gauntlet is the delegate. It returns I greater than 65. I in this case is 35 because 35 is the first item in the sequence. F11. That's false. So then we go on to the next one. 
The next one is the 39, because 39 is next. That's false as well. The next one is 42. 42 greater than 65, that's false. F11. The next one, I think, 88. Yeah, so 88 greater than 65, that's definitely true. F11. So then the gauntlet here returns true. We go down, we say remove at. I'll step over this one, You're hitting F10. Back my I off, hit F11. I++, plus plus, we're up to the next item, which is 42. Again, so F11, you can see I greater than 65. Yep, 42, that's false, so that 42 survives. But then, then the next value is this 99, our most senior person at our party. Uh, 99 greater than 65, that's true. Uh, remove them, F10 over this one. I minus minus, I plus plus. I is greater than count now. We're done, we're out. And then we can print all the items, all the people, all the ages of the people that have come to our party. So there you go, there's remove all. Kind of a whirlwind tour, a little bit with delegates and lambdas and that sort of thing. Again, I have videos on all that. Go check out those playlists, delegates, lambda expressions. There's a specific playlist for that.